What's up, Megalon fans? I'm back with another video, finally. Been kind of lazy lately, and I've not been in the mood to basically make a video. But, I want to make this video because, uh, how many days ago was it? Four days ago, I watched the final uh, NASCAR Cup race for this year. It was at Phoenix, Arizona. And Chase Elliott, the fan favorite, got his first championship since he started full-time in the NASCAR Cup Series in 2016. Got his first win at Watkins Glen in 2018. And has not been having good luck lately from when he got into the cha chase. Now, if you don't know what the chase is, then I'll, I'll, give it, I'll just tell you. The chase is a bullcrap point system to crown a champion. When NASCAR first started from the southern part of the country, it started as you lead laps, you get five bonus points, and those win, and when you win, you get points. Each driver in the Cup Series gets a point by by wherever they finished in the race, and. That, that was okay because the person who had enough points than everybody else was crowned the champion. In 2004, it was changed to the chase for the cup and the playoffs began in 2014. Now there are rounds and the rounds are bullcrap. You don't need points to get into the chase now. You just need wins and that is other bullcrap. But Chase Elliott got a win and that's great. But I gotta tell, talk about the race. You might be asking, how was the race? Bullcrap was the race. Look it up. The finale, the championship race for 2020 in the NASCAR Cup Series. It was boring as crap. And I'm not bluffing. Four cautions. Four. Okay, if you don't know what happened, okay, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. Last year, the final Phoenix race... Uh, the CEO of NASCAR complained about the race being too boring. So he announced that he was going to change the packaging, which are the uh, spoilers, which is basically this thing right here on the back of a car. So if you heard that, that I, I think I got a notification or a text message from someone. I'll check it when I'm done with this video. Sorry you heard that. But it's basically this thing on the back of NASCAR. That's known as the spoiler, a.k.a. the race package. And he announced he was going to change it to make a Phoenix race better. Earlier this year, the first Phoenix race for this year was already good. It had some decent passing, some crashes in it. And Joey Logano won that race. You want to know what he did to the packaging for this one? He absolute shrunk it. It was too small. There were not that much passing. Like I said, four cautions. Most of them from stage ending and only two in two cautions came out for incidents. I think there were either four cautions or five cautions. I don't know. And very long green flag runs. And I'm no scientist, but a very long race with very little cautions... Doesn't that kind of count as a snooze fest? Because that happened to the Daytona 500 in 2000 before. It could, it probably happened for this one. I didn't fall asleep at all, but I was about to because of how boring it was. I've been to Phoenix before. I've been to Phoenix Raceway before in 2017 for the Cam Am 500. That race was fine. There were seven cautions in that race. And Matt Kenseth won that one. I went there, and so far that was the final time, that was the last time I went to a NASCAR race so far. I hope I go to another one, but anyways, it was just too boring. The CEO was, the CEO was just too dumb. It, the CEO of NASCAR is just way too stupid. And I know you're going to get upset for that, the golden TNT 13 for me saying that, but that's actually the truth. I'll give you the two CEOs for NASCAR who are really good guys. Bill France Sr. and Bill France Jr. 
They brought the sport up to the highest level. And in 2003, it was the second most watched sport in North America. When Brian France came, its watch lanes were very low. And you want to know what happened to Brian France? He got arrested because he was doing drugs. Something called... Um... Fudge, I forgot. And then there's a new France in NASCAR. A new CEO of NASCAR. I don't know his name. But I can tell you right now, this one is dumb as crap. Ever since Bill Friends Jr. stopped being the CEO of NASCAR, the sport has gone down. And I really wanted to get back up on its feet. And this race was completely boring. A night lion. So, yeah. A boring Phoenix race to end off the 2020 season. Which 2020 has been an absolute disaster. I was hoping for a new decade like the 2010s would be great. But nope. Kick off the 2020s. It's disaster. Complete disaster. I hope 2021 is better than this one. I really do. So, yeah. Absolute boring race that I have seen in my entire life. And you want to know the tracks that I've seen some boring race events at? The most boring track in the NASCAR schedule is Martinsville. A paperclip. If you don't believe me, watch a full race at Martinsville and you'll believe me. And also, uh, I'll talk about a redesign for a track called Auto Club at some point, which I think is a bad idea. But I'll get to that another time. Phoenix, the Phoenix race for this year to end off the 2020 Cup Series season. And Chase Elliott, again, I'm really happy Chase Elliott, the son of Bill Elliott, the 1988 NASCAR Cup Series champion, won a championship for 2020 and, ten, and a total of 11 career Cup wins. I'm really excited about that. Now all the haters who said that Chase Elliott sucks in the Cup Series can go shut their mouths now because he won a championship. And, oh yeah, I'm a Chase Elliott fan. And, uh, yeah, I just gotta say, a boring Phoenix race. And this is what I gotta say about the CEO of NASCAR. He can go eat a bag of crap for how boring he made that race. And, yeah, also one more thing I gotta announce. Uh, I know about the whole election, uh, the goal in TNT 13, and I don't want to talk about it. I want to keep my channel away from politics. So, I beg of anyone who's a fan of this channel, please do not talk about politics. I want to keep it out. I want to keep politics out of this channel. Really. I really want to. Politics are not my thing. They mind their own business. I stay focused on video games, Godzilla, NASCAR, Monster Jam, stuff like that. We can talk about that stuff. But not politics. Please, no politics. I beg of you. Please. I want this channel to be popular. I don't want it to go down a level. Or just be the worst channel ever in history on YouTube. So, yep. That is it. Please do not talk about politics. Please. Till next time. See you all.